how do you become your best self? Like, you keep hearing all about this, like, hey, you should just be your best self. If you be your best self, this woman will want to be with you. If you be your best self, you can have everything you want in your life, but nobody really defines what that means. Well, in this video, I'm gonna talk about how to become your best self, and if you miss any one of these points, you're probably not gonna get the whole thing, so be sure to watch the whole thing. Having a clean space, having decluttered your house and not having these things around is gonna open up a lot of power for you. What I mean is mental bandwidth. You see, when you get to a higher level with what you're doing in your life, you know, you're starting to get your habits down, you're trying to run a business, you're gonna realize that it's not necessarily time that's the issue, it's always your mental bandwidth. In other words, I only have so much time in the day, sure, but in that time, what am I doing with that time? What am I thinking about? If I've got other things around me that I'm always having to hold in mind, like say, clutter around the house or dishes that have to be done or a lawn that needs to be mowed, that means I can't really focus in 100% on a thing that's really important to me. So when you get to a higher level of station in your business and you're really trying to perform more, having to worry about things that aren't really key to your growth is paramount. For me, I only want to be focusing on a few things. One, my health, my family, in other words, my wife and my kids, my business and my relationship with God. I only want to be focusing on these four things. I don't want to be thinking about, is my house cluttered? Is my food going to be prepared? Do I have to mow the lawn and this type of thing? So if you are in a place where like in your house and you have a bunch of clutter and stuff around your house, just realize that this is going to take up your mental bandwidth. And the more bandwidth that's being pulled on you from other sources means that you can't put it towards the things that you want. And so the game is not necessarily trying to do more, but trying to make sure that you have less to distract you towards going towards what you want. And even though having your space decluttered is great, your hygiene also matters too. And I may say like, okay, Ed, we know, take a shower. Yeah, I get it. Yeah, but it means more than that. The way that you present yourself into yourself matters greatly in the way that you move around in the world. Why? Because if you're worried about the way your appearance is, or you're worried about how your hygiene or your health is, that's again, other things that are taken away from your bandwidth. Most people are going around wondering what other people think of them so much that they get scared or insecure in how they are, their appearance and the way they're acting and moving. And your hygiene and the way that you look and the way that you present yourself are key to this. If you're still worried about these kind of things, if you're worried about how you're putting yourself out in public or you're insecure, realize that, just take mental inventory right now, how much does that take away from your mental bandwidth? You'll see that in an instant, you could have the mo all the motivation in the world, but something can happen to you, and then all of a sudden, just like that, your emotional state changes and you have no energy to do the thing that you want. So getting yourself in a place where you're, you're looking good, you're feeling good, and you know that you're on point is absolutely key. And that comes down to your fitness. That's the next one. You need to have your fitness dialed in. Now, it doesn't matter what your fitness routine is. Just the fact that you're getting out there and doing something on a regular basis every day, going to the gym, means that you're starting to define your life by success. And I don't know about you, but guys need to win and they need to feel like they're winning all the time because that gains momentum. They get this momentum from this concept of winning and feeling that they're winning, feeling like they're successful, feeling like they're getting over their own hump, their own hurdles in life. And just having this, Having this ability to just go to the gym every day and define your life by this kind of success, at the very least, will give you all the emotional energy you need. Let alone just the physical energy, just feeling healthy and feeling better in your body. So being able to do this, being able to get yourself dialed in in your fitness routine is absolutely paramount. The next thing is getting your finances in order. Now, most people, they may have a budget, but their entire life is defined by scarcity. In other words, they're trying to save $5 on this latte every day. I'm not a big fan of that. Yes, you should not spend things on things that don't really matter to you, but you shouldn't skimp on the things that do matter to you, that really give you joy in life. And in this place, you should just learn to make more money. Do whatever it takes to gain the skills you need, contact the people you need to contact, and move forward past your own living beliefs to just make more. Making more money for you as a man will give you more power and more feeling like you can do it more than just about anything else. And because you're making more money now, and you're not spending it on things that you don't care about, you now can get out of the house. You can now go do things out in the world, right? You got your house in order, you got your hygiene, your looks, you're going to the gym, you're making more money, now you're going out there into the world and you're making more experiences. Like life happens outside your computer desk. If you're at home just playing video games or you're afraid to go out, you're afraid to go hang out with friends and you're just watching TV every time you come home from work, just realize there's an entire world of things happening for you out there. People want to see you. They like your quirks, they like your weirdness. That's the whole thing that allows people to attach to you. When you go out 
out in the world and you're scared and you're just kind of like this, you're not saying anything to anybody, you don't give anything any you don't give people anything to latch on to. You don't, you don't have any interesting quirks. You're near over here in this place where you're just hiding behind fear. Like, oh, I don't want to be judged. I'm afraid. I don't know what to do. But you and your quirks are the coolest things that people are going to like about you. And the ones that don't won't want to be in your vicinity anyway. And that's fine. We're not trying to make everybody like you. We just want the people who like you like you. And you do enough of this and then your entire social circle will be, of course, people who like and appreciate you. But that only happens when you get outside, when you get out of the house, when your life isn't just defined by work and the next TV show or the next anime series you're trying to hit. So you got to get some sort of plan to get out of the house. Now, now that you've got out of the house, you've kind of got your life cleaned up and you're going to the gym and you're having more friends and stuff. Now the big question is, what do I want to do with my life? And why does that matter? You see, you're gonna have a hard time with any kind of habits if you don't have a productive why or a compelling why. And so you can have a guy who says, well, I just wanna get good with my habits. I can't make myself go to the gym. I can't make myself eat right. I can't seem to make myself go out and meet women and, or meet more friends. And the problem is, is he doesn't have a compelling reason why to get over the hump or the limiting beliefs or fears to actually go do the thing. So if you have a compelling why, you have a compelling vision of where you want to go in your life that's super interesting and exciting and fun for you, you're going to be able to go forward in your life and get over these humps and hurdles that are holding you back. And so you may get to this place where you're saying, there are a bunch of things in my life that I want to do. There's things that I want to overcome, hurdles I want to get past and I'm still too afraid to do it. And if you're having problems getting over these hurdles, like say you're afraid to go talk to a woman because you're afraid that she might reject you or you're afraid to go and ask your boss for a raise or you're afraid to start that new business, just remember, you're gonna suffer either way. You can suffer in this place of not doing anything and live this life of intense regret or you can suffer and go through the experience of possibly getting rejected. You're gonna suffer either way. So you might as well pick the suffering that gives you the fruit that you desire. In order to get more bandwidth for yourself so that you can move forward into power, you're gonna to have to start looking at the things in your life that are sucking your energy and sucking your bandwidth away. So you should start putting your life around the things that only matter. In other words, stop looking at politics, stop playing so many video games, stop watching so much TV, stop looking at porn, stop sedating through more work. The problem is, is that people fall under so much sedation that they don't actually deal with their own internal problems. And so it's easier to distract yourself by doing other things. You don't want to deal with it. You don't want to deal with your internal emotions. So let's play video games for five hours until it's 2 a.m. So, so I'm so tired, I just have to go to sleep because my mind just races all night. This is a symptom of not dealing with your own internal issues. And all of these internal issues are taking bandwidth away from you, which you could be using to greater and better endeavors to further your life and to have the kind of success and confidence and competence in your life that you really want. So going in and taking inventory of all of these things that are bothering you is absolutely critical. All right, my brother, if you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button and hit subscribe. But if you wanna know about how to elevate yourself as a man, check out this video right here.